Hey, what's going on? Tony here from Learn Auto Body and Paint. And in this video, we're gonna put together the Atom X21 spray gun. And I'm gonna show you how to set it up, how to clean it when it's the first time using your gun and unpacking, and how to do some basic rebuilding, okay? And it's not recommended to really mess with a brand new spray gun in the beginning, okay? Unless you have a little small paint leakage. And sometimes this happens because the guns are made and they're sitting in the warehouse, uh, shipped over in containers. Sometimes it gets, you know, 100 degrees or over 100 degrees in shipping. And some of the, the rubber inside of the spray gun. So this is a no O-ring design on all of the Atom spray guns. So it's even better. But some of the plastic seals around the spray gun can get warped, so it's really not recommended to completely disassemble a brand new spray gun when you get it. Um, we're gonna go over all of that in this video. So you're looking at the Atom X21 here, beautiful spray gun, okay, by Atom, high performance. And we're gonna go ahead and act like we just took it out of the box, okay, well I actually just did, but we're skipping some of the unboxing process. Okay, we have our 1,000 milliliter aluminum cup here with our plastic lid. Okay, now depending on when you're purchasing the Atom, they may be different color variations out. Currently, we have the silver knob knobs, okay, and we have the green air horn cap, okay, the air cap. Very, very nice looking gun. I love this gun. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is clean your spray gun, okay? Uh, because guns are made and they're packed and they're sitting in warehouses maybe for a couple of months before you get them, okay? They oil them up inside, okay? So it's never recommended to just put the gun together and just spray without cleaning it. So here's basically what you wanna do when you clean it, okay? So we're just gonna, what I usually do is I just put my cap on, not my cap, my cup, okay, in the very beginning. I put my cup on, just like this, and you never wanna over tighten these. Just a hand snug, you're good, okay, because there is a rubber gasket in between here, like a, like a rubber hose outside, your garden hose, right? So just tighten it really lightly, all right? You really don't have to go crazy. Some people, they go crazy, they end up stripping it, they make a big deal out of it, okay? Hand tight is all you need to do. Next step, what I do is I add a little bit of lacquer thinner, okay? This is lacquer thinner, it's not paint thinner, two different things, okay? This is lacquer thinner. This is perfect for cleaning out your spray gun in between base coat, clear coat, we're just cleaning your guns in general to get all of the clear coat and paint off of your gun and inside of your gun, right? So I just get a little bit of this, put a very little in my cup, two ounces or so, you can see that, right? I put my cap on, right? And I make sure to cover the hole. Usually there's a hole in the center. These caps, there's a hole up on the side here, okay? And I just give it a quick shake to clean inside the cup. Okay, so once you put a little bit of lacquer thinner in it, I like to run it out of my nozzle quickly like this. Okay, then I open this up here. Okay, I put a little solvent on my brush and I just clean the tip like this. Okay, clean this whole area down. Okay, I also put the cap in the solution here and give it a quick rinse inside and out. Okay. And then we dry it. Put it back together. Okay, and then we drain it. Of course, we're gonna take the old lacquer thinner out. Okay, pull the trigger when you do that as well. So every time you're dumping, every time you're dumping material out, pull the trigger. This way it opens it up inside and you get everything out, okay? 
I'm gonna go ahead and clean this. Uh, better to use shop towels, by the way, not a regular paper towel like this, okay? Use the blue shop towels, kind of ran out. Okay, then we put it inside and we just clean inside the cup really quickly. Really clean. So when you do the needle, you squeeze, it pulls it out a little bit, and then just, okay, it pulls right out. And you wanna really be careful, okay, of damaging this tip. You do not wanna damage this tip here. Very, very sensitive. All right, so I like to just wet it down with thinner. Okay, just like this. Just clean it, clean the whole tip here. Okay. And then you could just put it right back in the spray gun. Okay. Uh, you could also, okay, take this tip off and that's all you really wanna do. You don't wanna go crazy taking this completely apart, all right? Spray guns, these spray guns are precisionly made and they're not made for you to completely disassemble them and take them apart when you wanna use them, right? In the very beginning. Later on, if you're having issues with it or you need to clean it out really well, then you would do that. But here, all we do is get a 10 millimeter and take this tip off, okay? So I am unscrewing this off quickly. Okay. Now what you could do is also get the brush. Okay. Take the old gunk out, which is actually sealing and protecting the spray gun while at the warehouse there. Okay, so we're gonna get there. Watch your eyes, okay? Okay, you wanna make sure you don't actually blow out pieces that you need. And this thing just blew out on me, this little plastic cap, all right, that sits behind the trigger, okay, to give the trigger pull some cushion. So I'm just gonna place that right back on there. You can see it, it just sat right back on it, right in there, right? So just be careful you don't blow that out, just like I did, okay? Now that's pretty much set, okay? You can see how clean that is inside, right? Now we're gonna put back our nozzle tip after this is cleaned as well, right? So let's just make sure we clean this up a little bit. And this is a piece that you really don't wanna drop or mess up, okay? Because if you drop this piece, right, you're really gonna have an issue. You're gonna have to buy a rebuild kit for the tip. Okay, you're gonna have to get a tip kit, but gladly, Adam tip kits are very affordable. Because if you damage this tip here, right, if you drop it and it bends, your spray pattern is messed up, okay, forever. You're gonna have to buy a new needle tip kit. All right, so this is my 1.4, as you can see here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and screw this back in, and when we tighten these, very, very lightly, okay, we don't wanna go crazy. Okay, and strip it out. So we're just gonna tighten it by hand, just enough. Then we're gonna get our 10 millimeter. Okay, and just give it a quick snug, a little bit more. And that's pretty, that's it. Okay, you don't wanna go crazy. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our, we could actually put our needle back in. So let's just say our needle is completely clean now, right? So we're gonna put the needle right back in. So you're gonna see it come all the way up right there. Okay, and it's gonna push it. You're gonna push it all the way in. Don't squeeze the trigger. Okay, and it's gonna come up to the top there of our tip. You could kind of see it at the very top. Now we're gonna put our spring in, plastic piece outward, okay, toward the knob. This goes in like this, okay. Now we get our knob and just screw a couple times. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to set this in just a bit. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our cap on. And you always wanna go backwards 
to make sure it's seated before you go forward and strip it out. All right, so make sure it's seated and then we go tighten it up. Okay, so we're just gonna tighten it up once this is horizontal. Okay, tighten it up, adjust it, tighten it up. And that's great. Okay, so it's all put together now. Uh, and now what we do to set the fluid flow, okay, what I like to do is always have full throttle fluid flow. All right, so the way to do it, the way to do it is hold your trigger down all the way, okay, when this is out, and then tighten it until you feel it just get a little tight, okay? And then that's pretty much full open fluid flow. Okay, so now your gun is pretty much set up to spray. Okay, all cleaned inside, and there you go.